military bun today because uh, some people at work asked me and stuff so I wanted to make a video for everybody who wanted to know how to do this bun because it took me forever and my friend ended up helping me because she's the one who does her bun like this and she's the one who helped me anyway in T-Way. So yeah, I hope you guys like this video. And yes, my face looks oily because I wear sunscreen. So... So I always put conditioner in first, just cause, just to give my hair a little bit more um, softness or not so dry. Since it's gonna be in the bun with gel, cause like, I don't know how everybody else's hair is, but I need a lot of gel, so. And then the longer or thicker your hair is, the bigger the bun's gonna be. So then you start getting into the, if it's within regulation and stuff, so. Maybe people with longer hair, this, and longer and thicker hair, this may work, may not. My friend, she has really long hair and thick hair, but she makes it work. Because I think she braids small, so then her bun ends up being within regulation. But there's many ways to do a bun, it's just preference, I guess. But I like this way, because I look sharp. And then I'm going to part my hair. Sorry, I can't see. I don't have a mirror here, so I'm using you guys as a mirror. And I always use two ponytails, two for the ponytail and then two for the bun. So I always put those on my wrist first. So then I'm not like, oh my god, where are my ponytails? So I, I've been using two gels. I've been using this Eco one I got from Target and this Pessinos, this guy, um, styling gel, male styling gel. I've been using those two. But I've been trying to use this one because this one doesn't flake. But it's expensive, it's like $13 for this. And I use a lot, so I know some people like they instead of gel they use uh, like conditioner to keep it flat and stuff, or like laid down or no flyaways or anything like that. But my hair doesn't work like that. I know I know two people that have done it like that, but they use uh, deep conditioners. But mine, I need, I need, I need this. I need gel. I need these two. These two. I need these two. So. I like, and that's still not enough. And then I just, first I always put it in between my part, and I just lay it down. And then I also get my hairs in the front, under as well, so it's not like all everywhere. This is where you use your arms. It's an arm workout, man. So I make the ponytail, obviously. And then just start scooping it back. It's sometimes hard to like not have bumps. And like some days I, I get it and some days I, sometimes I do not. I guess uh, also for me it works best if my hair is wet. Like if I do this with my hair dry, no. Like it's not going to work so I don't know maybe wet your hair maybe it'll, it'll make a difference or it won't. I don't know. Sorry guys I don't have a mirror. I'm trying to get rid of all these bumps.
put the ponytail on. more joe right there. I'm gonna fix this right now. Hold just just hold on. I hope you guys can see this crap. Alright. Bun? Heavy toe. I hope you guys can see this. I you lay out the hair on top of the bun. Like this. And grab your brush, you comb it out just to make sure there's not none of the sock part showing. You know, you know. So that goes like that. And then you grab some more gel. And then you just lather it on your buns so there's no like flyaways. You have your bands, your ligas. And then just roll it onto it and try not to be you have to either be really slow or really fast. I mean, yeah, really slow, really fast. So then, uh, none of the, um, I'll uh, see, you see mine write it up a little bit. And then, you split it in two, like this. You grab that. And I'll make sure there's no, like, little hairs. Bun, 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 bun. I hope it looks good, guys. <gasps> Alright, so now you guys have your little your rubber bands. Now we can start braiding. So now you get your bobby pins and you slide it in between your band. Alright, so this, I, I, since I've done this for like a while now, I cut one, this, my left one always goes under my top, my right one always goes on top. So that's what works for me. So I'll show you now. And just slide it in there. And then you got this is the the uh, you guys see how like there's a lot of space right there? Yeah. Try and make it as tight as you can. Like sometimes like mine it just depends how I'm feeling. If I really feel I'm feeling my hair, if I'm in my dress blues, yeah, I take my time on my hair. But if I'm just like like this Going to the motor pool, then I'm just like kind of whatever, but I still, it still looks clean, it still looks good. I'm not saying it does, I just don't give a fuck and I just show up like shit. No, it still looks good, it's just not perfect. Okay, it's not perfect. Alright. And I go on top. Then just slide it in there. And then just tuck the tail in. Fuck! I fucked it up. I think I fucked it up. I fucked it up. I think I messed it up right here, as you guys can see. Let me go see in the mirror. So, I tried to fix it, and I ended up messing it up more, so... Take two. Alright. Go to the top. And we're never gonna stop. And we to the top. And then. Oh my god, I didn't even show you guys. Uh, the more practice, the better they come out. And in here, I'm going to fix. So I got this brush from Target or Walmart. They're like for babies. 
but I just use, I'm sure you can just use a toothbrush and it'll be just as fine. But I have to buy this one because I do my daughter's hair with this and if I actually had a toothbrush, you'd be like, oh, it's time for me to brush my teeth. So I had to buy this one. So with that gel that was there, I just scoop it all back. Then I got more gel. And then I just... better than the others like I'm gonna be honest some days it comes out looking like crap sometimes it comes out looking really good so bye see you guys later see you